hey capricorn and welcome back to my channel welcome to my channel for the first time if you are new here so i have been getting caught up with personal readings that's why i have been mia when it comes to the uh zodiac sign readings so now that i am caught up on personal readings i can get right back into the swing of things and into the swing of filming so this is going to be for the rest of the month of august for capricorns and that includes capricorns sun moon and rising and also capricorn venus because sometimes love shows up in these readings so your venus sign is what you need to look at in terms of the way you handle relationships or the way you approach your love life so like i said capricorn sun moon rising and venus and I do have a Capricorn stellium in my chart and I have a Capricorn Venus so this will apply to me too so I am excited about this okay so let's see what comes up in the cards I'm trying not to bang it too hard on this on the table because some of my readings like the table is so it's so loud okay so the two of cups keeps wanting to come up so what i'm saying with the two of cups here is that some of you could be in love or have someone that you have heavily on your brain or on your mind um it could be because i'm saying the two of cups with the hierophant so it could be that you are dealing with someone who you're not it's like someone who is different from your usual taste or someone who makes you feel like you want to change or grow so it could be some type of uh, soulmate, like I said, who is exposing things about yourself um, that you may not have previously been aware of, um, any patterns that you may have. So that's interesting that that popped up. A lot of, I feel like a lot of signs are actually dealing with that at the moment, um, dealing with very heavy karmic lessons that they are obviously experiencing through some type of soulmate situation. So we have the Page of Pentacles, I haven't even pulled yet, and these cards are just like wanting to show up so we have the page of pentacles and the hermit card and the page of pentacles showed up earlier when i was meditating so with the page of pentacles and the hermit card being here because like i said i was meditating on your energy earlier and i did pick up this energy of some of you waiting on something um waiting on something or waiting on someone waiting on some type of news or message or wanting to offer someone some type of message but it's interesting because the page of pentacles was in the reverse when i was meditating so with that showing up with the hermit that's letting me know that some of you guys are in isolation and you're really thinking about this but you haven't really made any moves towards it yet or it could be someone that you are interested in or that you have been interested in is kind of in isolation from you doing some soul searching and you're waiting for them to offer you something or to offer you some type of message but either way there is some type of spiritual growth that is happening through whatever the situation is and it doesn't have to necessarily be a soulmate or a person it could be like a job it could be any situation that you're in that's helping you to grow on a spiritual level meaning that is exposing parts of yourself um in any programs that you may have running in your subconscious mind from um your childhood or from past situations they could be coming to the surface causing you to do a lot of um introspection pretty much and um the hierophant comes up again yeah and some of you are like i said waiting on something to come in but i have this feeling that instead of waiting you're supposed to be turning more inward but again let me just pull these cards now because i feel like i'm rambling the wheel of fortune yep figured the queen of wands in reverse and the eight of pinnacles okay let me just breathe into the energy for a second I don't know if you, some of you are feeling very rushed or you're feeling like things are moving very quickly for you because that's kind of how I'm feeling, very like wanting to hurry up and get things done. So the Wheel of Fortune comes up first. So the Wheel of Fortune is talking about cycles that are coming to an end and the need to end cycles in the correct way in order for you to move on to the next phase of your life in the most smooth way possible so when i say ending cycles in the right way i mean knowing when to let certain situations go um and if you are someone that's walking away from someone else or something else making sure that you do it in a fair and just way because i'm paying attention to it's like with the will fortune it reminds me of karma like to be very mindful of your karma be very mindful of how you leave situations how you respond to situations it's like closing out cycles in your life in the most um like i said in the in a way that shows that you have integrity 
and if someone has is trying to leave your life um making sure that you leave with your ooh, high priestess um making sure that you leave i'm not gonna say with your dignity but it's kind of like what comes to mind is what someone does to you is their karma how you respond is yours so be very mindful that if you are in a situation where someone's trying to leave or there's a cycle with someone that closed out in a way that you, in a way that you don't agree with to make sure that you are at least maintaining your integrity and make sure that you are moving forward um in a way that's going to bring you good karma and kind of let the universe handle whatever that situation is but the high priestess coming out i don't feel like it's clarifying any of the cards that's on the table right now i feel like it's coming out on its own so a lot of you could be really getting in touch with your intuition um, a lot of you could be seeing situations for how they truly are like if you were in confusion because the two of swords came out earlier so if you were in confusion about any situations I feel like the high priestess is you basically starting to gain clarity through your intuitive guidance um, it's like this this calm knowing almost um, it's not like a card of fear it's a card of card of like realizing a truth even though it's not necessarily a truth that you wanted to hear um it's a truth that you intuitively needed to hear to set yourself free so some of you could be like i said getting intuition or intuitive guidance about a situation this could also speak about someone who is kind of keeping something from you like keeping i'm hearing like keeping secrets but not in a How do I put this? It's like someone you someone you are connected with keeping secrets from you or keeping their feelings from you, keeping their feelings hidden from you. But it's it's like this is happening for a specific reason in order for you to learn how to use your own intuition and to move forward. So that even though someone's keeping something from you, you should still be able to manifest with the magician card here. Um, you should still be able to manifest moving forward in a positive, healthy way. Because they're gonna, there's going to be times in life where you're going to need to move forward without clarity or without closure. So if someone is like keeping something from you or they're not coming forward, because I just kept getting that you're waiting for some type of, some type of message or some type of offer. Um, if someone is keeping something from you, like I said, they are being intuitively guided to do so because this is a lesson in you learning how to follow your own higher guidance and intuition and how to gain balance and to trust that what your intuition is telling you is correct and that you don't need another person to confirm so with the queen of wands being here in reverse this is talking about this could mean two things that's coming to mind one this could talk about you needing to watch your temper um and i feel like with that coming up with the wheel of fortune card i feel like this is really talking about karma being very careful of watching your temper watching how you are interacting with people um even if it's people that like i said are doing you wrong be very careful of the words that you say and the way that you go about things Things because like I said how they act, treat you is their karma how you react is yours so that queen of, queen of wands person could be someone who's very uh, explosive <laughs> very explosive and angry some of you could also be um, detaching yourself from a fire sign as well a fire sign feminine energy possibly um, so just be very mindful of that but that also could talk about with this queen of wands in reverse your need to kind of slow down um, because the Queen of Wands in the, in the upright is someone who is very, um, it's like a, a fire sign energy of going forward with your plans, like taking a lot of action. And when I was meditating on your energy, I was feeling a very like heavy squeezing in my back. So some of you could be doing a lot of, maybe not physical labor, but like overworking yourselves. And some of you are needing to really like take your physical health into consideration. So I'm seeing this as someone who may also need to slow down. Um... Yeah, that's what I'm getting. So with this eight of, sorry, when I shuffle, uh, it helps me to let the tarot messages come through to me. Um, with this eight of one, oh yeah, definitely. With this eight of pentacles in reverse, this talks about slowing down. Some of you are seriously needing to slow down. Cause like I said, I was getting this squeezing feeling in my back. Um, some of you are definitely needing to physically slow down with your work. And sometimes that can manifest because we are, trying to run from certain feelings or certain situations um 
through work, especially that is a Capricorn thing to do, very Capricorn energy, to try to run from certain situations through work. And if your physical body starts to break down, that's pretty much God or the divine spirit, whatever you believe in, um, basically telling you that there is something within you internally that you need to be looking at. Because Capricorns, like I said, do have a tendency to just work, 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 and they don't really burn out. They can like keep working and not think about their feelings at all. And there could be something important that you're missing out on that your intuition is trying to tell you about your feelings and um i feel like you're running from it there's two of cups being in reverse i feel like there is some type of pain underneath the surface that you are not wanting to deal with or face and you're needing to deal with it or face it and um that could actually cause you to have a physical ailment that could force you to stop working if you don't sit down and actually um give yourself the attention and the care that you need i'm going to stop shuffling in a minute because i feel like it's going to be distracting let me just clarify all three of these cards and then I will stop. I will put the deck down. <laughs> Sun card. And the four of wands. The four of swords in reverse. Ooh, the devil card in the, the bottom of the deck. So we have the eight of cups in the reverse. So some of you are actually having a hard time walking out of this cycle. Some of you are feeling the energy shift. And it's something that you are attached well this is your card. So that's good that your energy came up. This is the Capricorn card. So the fact that your energy came up um means that's a good thing that means you are focused on self but also this devil card can also indicate that there's an area of your life that you f still feel somewhat attached to um and that's only for a small group of you though because i'm seeing the empress underneath this so i do feel like this capricorn this devil card is talking more about your energy and not really about something you're attached to because with the empress it's kind of like you you being focused on yourself very heavily but some of you could be attached to something or attached to um someone or some type of habit or belief in a past cycle that you're having a hard time walking away from like you keep walking back into it and I feel like that's because there's something in that cycle that you did not learn like you're trying to run away from some type of lesson in the cycle and that's why it keeps on cycling back around so with the Sun card being here with the Queen of Wands so <laughs> usually the Sun card is really a positive card but I am getting Oh my goodness. I'm getting this energy of like some of you, like I said before, the Queen of Wands in reverse could be someone who's kind of like explosive, who will like, who will speak their mind and like curse somebody out and not really care afterwards um, because they feel like the person has deserved it. And I feel like some of you are doing that and it makes you feel good after you do it. Oh my goodness. That is the craziest message. It's it's not that crazy. Um, I've been here before. Um, it's that's what I'm seeing that some of you are like after you like explode or like express yourself um, Curse someone out like read them their rights. It could make you feel like okay. I feel better now. Like I feel free like <laughs> Let me pull one more for that um, be very mindful of that like really watch your words um, for the rest of this month um, but this could also mean if that doesn't apply to you that could also be talking about like i said your need to kind of slow down and to kind of really take care of yourself um nurture yourself the way you would nurture a child like you wouldn't overwork a child you know so trying to treat yourself like a child really um be mindful of your body be mindful of um any physical ailments that you may have it's like really really taking care of yourself i'm saying that some of you need to actually go and get like a physical checkup and like go to the doctor as well some of you are needing to go outside more it's just a need for you to really like bring your inner child out to play because i feel like whatever the cycle is that you have been in it's one that's very stiff and rigid um that makes you feel very stiff and rigid um how do i explain it it's like one that's causing you a lot of tension and stress you may might need to go get a massage or something let me uh Oop, let me pull one more for that sun card that first message was like funny i had to laugh because it kind of applies to me too <laughs> be very careful with your words okay let me clarify this sun card let's see the five of swords in reverse so this is talking about like i said be very careful of your ego and your words because even when you like go off on someone and you feel like you defeated them it ends up defeating you in the end even if it feels good to you in the moment to like go off on someone and this could be something that's happening that has already happened or this could be something you just need to be mindful of in august it may feel good to go off on someone and get the upper hand by like cursing them out and making them feel bad but that energy is going to boomerang right back to you and come right back around and also like i said for the other group um, there is definitely a need for you to kind of relax and step into a more childlike joyous type of energy um, because like I said I feel like some of you are working 
to the point where you're overworking yourself and that that doesn't mean like quit your job but it's more so saying like when you come home what are you doing are you having a self-care routine are you having a relaxation routine routine before bed or are you coming home and still worrying like are you bringing work home with you are you coming home and still worrying about whatever this past cycle was whatever this thing is that you can't seem to let go of um there's a need for you to really like really practice self-care and really really nurture yourself so before bed maybe having like some type of relaxation um, routine in order to quiet your mind quiet your thoughts because I'm feeling like your thoughts are going to manifest into like a physical ailment like that's what I'm really seeing so be very mindful of the stress here so I'm also seeing the eight of Pentacles and the four of swords in the reverse again this is talking about you you see this you not relaxing and you not having any type of peace there definitely is a need for you to really slow down uh practice some type of meditation because i really yeah there's a need for you to slow down and there is a need for you to get in connection like get connected to your emotions which is not really a very capricorn um energy uh you know getting connected with emotions especially if you are a capricorn moon that could be a little bit difficult for you but there may be a need to like that's why this cycle i feel like is not ending and you're having a hard time walking away because you are not getting in touch with your emotions and not healing something within you that needs your attention like your inner child needs your attention and i feel like you may be fighting with your inner child like okay just get over it already we already been through this so this queen of wands now that i'm getting a new message this queen of wands could be you actually being like almost like a mean mother like to your inner child like when your inner child is saying like i'm in pain i'm, I'm hurting because of this past cycle are you just like okay who cares um we're gonna go go to work and we're not gonna think about it like that is a, a form of you neglecting your inner child um and you wouldn't treat your child an actual child like that i hope so it's saying basically to not treat your own inner child like that there's some type of emotional healing that you need to pay attention to is what i'm seeing okay so that is it for that i'm going to pull three more and then we are going to look at these three in the extended version five of cups Two of Wands and the Queen of Cups. Oh, I didn't even show you guys the other cards before I like, what's it, like put them back in the deck. I'm sorry. I'll definitely show you the spread in the extended, but I, I did show you the, um, what's it, the cards throughout the video. But in the extended, I'll actually put the camera down on the cards to show you. So in the extended, we are looking at the Five of Cups, the Two of Wands, and the three of cups so this card talking about grieving um looking back on a past cycle with regret or remorse and this card the two of wands talking about having to make a decision um usually having to leave something behind and look towards something new but in this case the way that it's lined up on the decks on, on my desk i mean um you see this person in the two of wands card is actually looking towards um, this person who is grieving so it very well could be okay we're gonna get into it in the extent that I'm not gonna give too much and then my camera cut off as soon as I said that so um, that must be a sign <laughs> but like I said we'll get into this in the extended I'm not gonna give away too much but then we have the Queen of Cups here also so this is talking about this feeling of love that's brewing within someone or someone getting in touch with their feminine side or their emotional side or someone having some type of emotional feelings towards you or you towards them so like I said, we will get into that in the extended. I will leave that link in the description box down below. And thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you on Vimeo. Bye.